Good morning, everybody. Um, my face looks very tired. I just woke up. It's about 7.30 on Monday, March something. <laughs> I don't just start to blend together, to be honest. I can't keep track of what day of the week it is. Did I say March? And then Monday, March. I think I meant May. Oh my God. I'll see you guys after some coffee. All right, so it is about half an hour later. I'm feeling much more awake. I know that we're in May. It is May 18th. Exciting, I know. Um, but it is raining today, which I kind of knew was happening, but at the same time I was like, is it really gonna rain? It's raining. So um, I need to do laundry today. That is the one thing our apartment does not have is in unit laundry, washer and dryer. So I figure um, I'll try and get a jump start on it while it's raining. Who's gonna do laundry while it's raining? Me, so I can get it all done. So I'm gonna do that. I need to clean up my bedroom. And then when I come back, I kind of want to just get myself ready for the day. Um, I've got a lot of work to do and whatnot. So catch up with you guys in a bit. So I don't think I've mentioned this on the vlog. Maybe I have. Um, we don't have a bed frame, which is why the mattress is on the ground, and we don't have nightstands yet, which is why it looks a little funky in here. But today, all of that stuff is coming, and I'm so excited that we're gonna finally be off the floor, and we're gonna have matching nightstands, and we're gonna have drawers, and I think it's just gonna come together in getting the furniture that we ordered well over a month ago. So I'm very excited. Um, now I'm going to pull out all my laundry. All right, so it's actually a couple hours later. Um, we finished our laundry. I was just about to fold all of it. And um, we pretty much just went into the office and started working because we had to get stuff done. Um, however, I really would like to get dressed for the day, have some breakfast. It's 10 something right now. So I think that's the plan. I'm gonna put all this away, get some breakfast, maybe take a shower, and then we need to pack all the orders and carry on with the rest of our busy day. Hi, so it is much later. Um, I showered and gotten dressed even though it doesn't look like it. Um, we had a very long day of packing orders and all that stuff and doing a bunch of other work stuff. We finally got our Ikea delivery, which I'm really excited about. We're gonna assemble that. Um, but first is we're gonna have dinner. It is 5 p.m. Um, I know that sounds very early to eat, but um, we're hungry and I don't wanna have a snack before I have dinner, if I'm gonna have dinner in an hour or whatever. So um, I'm gonna reheat some of the what I made last night. I'll show you guys what that was. I did an udon stir fry with um, just some sauces and veggies and chicken and whatnot. So we're gonna start building this Ikea media center. And it came, because we had everything delivered, obviously with COVID you can't go to Ikea, but there are so many pieces. <laughs> Greg just said, Ikea furniture should be rated by uh, ease of use to put together. Because there's so many boxes and there's like tracks and like stuff now that we have to figure out what to do with and hope that we don't put it on wrong for fear of having to figure it out. Hold on. Okay, phase one is complete. We have a media center. It's currently backwards. We'll figure it out. But now we have all of these other pieces that are supposedly supposed to go into this. Okay, so when I bought this, I bought it online and I literally found the one I liked and I clicked purchase and have it delivered. 
I know a lot of Ikea stuff comes with multiple boxes on like how to build it. So I just didn't know how many boxes were coming. And I'm not really even sure how to put the rest of it together because it's just like, it's not like, oh, for drawers, do this, or for little opening cabinets, do this. So I don't know. But this really wasn't that bad to build. We just have to now figure out everything else. So, okay, so like I said, this is built. It looks fantastic. But okay, just look at this disarray of. So I had to go into my Ikea order online and figure out what the hell this thing looks like to figure out what it's all supposed to do. They didn't give us. You guys, I don't know how long it's been, long enough for it to be almost dark outside, but look! Ta -da 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 -da! A media center! It looks so good. It, was, it wasn't that bad to put together, but we realized that there were a lot of options. So they sent us all this extra stuff so we can add shelves, we can do all sorts of things. These are actually soft closed drawers, which I didn't realize. Again, I picked this off of the website, but when you push, they open, and then when you pull it back, you have to push it to snap it in. And then this one is like a hinge drawer, which is where the Xbox is. We don't actually have cable because we don't watch cable. We use mostly streaming, but, so that drawer is the same as this one, so. Yay! We did it! Oh, I love it. All right. It's currently 8.45 p.m. We just finished building that thing and then I cleaned the kitchen and all that. And now I wanna build the nightstands because <laughs> we have to build the bed frame and the bed frame is massive and I think it's gonna take a lot out of us tomorrow and I don't wanna have to build the nightstands and the bed frame tomorrow. So I'm hoping I can build the nightstands together. Greg has to work some more tonight, so it's just gonna be me, which is fine. But I'm gonna try and do them like side by side at the same time to hopefully get them done in the next hour-ish. Wish me luck. So quickly before, I forget to do like a haul before, I wanna show you guys what the our bedroom looks like with how everything is set up now. So, as you can see, so we have another one of these tables. We actually have two more of these tables. They're out in our living room. Um, we're using them as side tables for our sofa. Um, so, you know, it's a little mishmash in here. We love the bed, love the bedding, love how everything looks, but we're excited for the bed frame. That will be, that is all of that that needs to be built tomorrow, which is why we kind of just want to like, we'll do that tomorrow, not today. That little box and that box or nightstands that I'm gonna build right now. Um, but I just wanna show you guys a before. All right, so I'm just gonna set this up as a time lapse and you guys can watch me build this thing and probably screw it up a couple times before I get it right because that's just how Ikea furniture works. Let me know if you're one of those people that just like nails it on the first try. I think I've done that like once, maybe twice in my whole life with Ikea and I've built a lot of Ikea furniture. But for me, my issue is drawers. Like the way that the little runners get put on, for whatever reason, I always put them on either upside down, on the wrong side, not in the right holes. I can do everything else. I can assemble everything else, but I can't seem to get the drawer part to work. Like even out there, I messed up the front of the drawer. Granted, it wasn't the little slidey part, but I still messed up the drawer. And then when we were building our desk, I screwed up the drawers again. And it was just this thing that I was like, I just can't get drawers right, whatever it is. So I'm hoping these have drawers. So I might have to call in some reinforcements for when I get to that part because I'm just not good at whatever it is. It's, for me, I think it's just the images. Like when I'm looking at them, I'm literally looking at them like, uh, wait, which way does it go? And then I like take my best guess and it's always wrong. So we'll see if I can do it. <laughs> I hope I can without fail because I can do this. Yes. Here we go. All right, so I've officially laid everything out and 
pulled both boxes apart. Um, one of the things my dad first taught me when I build IKEA furniture is you have to make sure you have all the pieces. And he actually taught me this when I used to play with Lego. Um, when I was little, he I would just, I was a person that, like pull apart, and then I put all like the pieces that you needed in like their little piles and I'd organize it all. So as an adult, it's kind of like big Lego. freaking tired <laughs> but they're built and I did it all by myself and I don't think I made any errors it all went together I think good so we're doing great I'll show you what they look like obviously hard to like visualize because the rest of the room is chaos right now but um these we have a really like something like this color dark gray bed frame that's going to be there so I thought the white would be a nice light accent um, instead of going for another dark piece. So what I like about these is that there's a nice big drawer and there's this under part. And like, I like to keep my electronics and stuff like that near my bed because I normally am on them. Like my iPad is right there. So that's something that I would totally put underneath there. And then we don't have, you know, too much clutter on top of the nightstand. I'm someone who tries to not have things get cluttered at all. Like I really prefer like clean countertops, things put away where they go as much as I can, because obviously there's exceptions to that. But um, I'm really happy with how these came together. I'm really excited for the bed frame together tomorrow. The room feels like it's finally kind of coming together. I mean, granted, we've only been here for two and a half weeks, almost three weeks. And I'm just happy to have furniture, happy that it's all assembled feeling very grateful and very excited to be in this position especially with everything going on like i feel like i couldn't be in a better position with everything and i'm just so happy and lucky and thankful for everything that has happened to make all of this possible so very excited i'm gonna try and put them where they go i don't know if he wants to deal with his tonight he's in the shower right now but um I'm going to put mine how I would like it to look to at least get a feel for it. But I will talk to you guys in the morning and hopefully you'll see us make the bed and get like the nice big bedroom reveal, which will be nice. Uh, yeah, see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is... 11 a.m. on Tuesday, May 19th. And um, I hope you enjoyed the clips of the beach. We went to the beach this morning and we I rollerbladed, Greg went for a run. It was beautiful and it just gave me a, a feeling of peace and like calm and I got some good energy out. Um, we are now going to pack orders, gonna shower, Hopefully get the bed frame built today, um, but we've got a lot of other work stuff we got to do, so all that comes first, obviously. Um, all right, so I have showered, I got dressed, um, I we packed all of our orders, and now I need to sit down and do a bunch of work at the computer. But first, I'm going to make my homemade Arnold Palmer. Um, I just want to show you guys what I do. Okay, so my favorite Arnold Palmers have been from Starbucks. Um, I always get an iced tea with a splash of lemonade because I don't like it super sweet, but I just like just that little bit. So I Googled what they use for their teas and they use Earl Grey. They use the, what's it called? It's the Starbucks brand, obviously, um, Earl Grey tea. But I found this one at Trader Joe's. It's like two or three bucks for a pack of 20. And then what I do is I boil water and I put it into this. And I put about two tea bags in here. I let it steep for like five-ish minutes. And then I let this carafe sit out and like cool down while it's boiling. And then I stick it in the fridge so it's iced. I know there's probably other ways I could do that. And I'm sure that I could find an iced tea specific that I can do iced. But I just really like this one. And the process is really easy. So that's just what I do. 
And then I think I showed you guys the other day when I went grocery shopping. I started using this light organic lemonade, which honestly tastes pretty good. Not that bad. Um, I, I know a lot of people like stevia, but I personally, I don't like how it tastes when I can taste it. Does that make sense? Um, but in this lemonade, because I just put a splash, I can't really taste it. So it doesn't really bother me because stevia is a sweetener in this. Um, but yeah, so I have a tumbler from Starbucks. Nice big tea to go out there. Just a little bit of lemonade. And then I'll add like a few cubes of ice just to keep it cold for a All right. And there you have it. Pretty easy and it's delicious. All right, it is time to build the bed. Um, currently we have all the pieces out. We have everything off of the bed, but we're probably gonna have to move the mattress in order to make this work. So here you go. Hi. So it is a lot later in the day. Um, we did finish the bed. Um, it looks fantastic. I'm gonna show you guys in a second, but while we were making or doing the bed, it was like dinner time. So once we finished, we left to go pick up food. Um, and yeah, so as we ate, we watched. Ooh. As we ate, we watched TV. We've been watching Designated Survivor on Netflix, which I know has been out for a little while, but we just discovered it and I love it. We've also been watching Ozark. Very good show too. Um... But yeah, let me show you guys what the bedroom looks like. On this side, we just have a TV and our hampers, nothing too fancy. Um, but I love this. I think it looks so good, so clean and simple, and I'm obsessed with it. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm going to end the vlog here. I think these last two days have been awesome. I hope you've enjoyed building Ikea furniture with me slash us. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.